hello and welcome to the lecture so in the previous one we saw about what is ajax and it plays a very key role in this uh, dynamic thing for oracle apex and for sure it's a very great advantage and with the ajax callback you'll be able to achieve a lot of things that uh, generally an application needs uh, for a web right we will just start with setting up the server logic now so we will create a process here so before that i just want to tell what we are gonna show right so what the requirement in our demo is i'll be giving an input this is the customer id and i want to get the full name in another text box so it should be populated automatically and that gives you know it's a very useful thing right if you input something and you want to know the instance response from that need not have to refresh the page immediately it has to be appeared in the client side so we can make use of this ajax callback so i'll give an input here i'll just reverse this and we'll create one page item that is the customer id and one more page item that is full name all these are text field and maybe we'll make this as display only we are not inputting here so we'll save it and also we'll make this as you know as a column row not on the next new row so be on the same row for that so we will just refresh it and we are seeing that so i will input the customer id say 286 and it will return me the full name over this box so this is our requirement so i just uh, explore one example that what i want in the object browser with the sql commands so we know that this table is the customer's table so i'm sure we will get the result if we put select star from customers and if i enter and we are getting this so we we'll just add the same thing but we need to get the only full name so select full name okay let me change the spelling full name from customers where the first one i would take the example we have customer id equal to 286 so it returns me the full name so this is the same logic we are gonna use and we are gonna dynamically vary this thing this is the dynamic varying variable here so we'll take this here and create a process and this should be in the ajax callback side so our point should be ajax callback it moves here and the name is you know something you should give very unique and some meaningful things right so we'll just give get full name and we will just uh, paste it here it's already a uh, begin and added so this appears equal side so what we have to add is the parameter one which is apex application dot gx01 and it's uh, you know a string or a number it will accept with that data type and we are inputting here so this would return me into thing which has to be declared right so we need to add a declare here so this has to be printed so that's the thing so we will just declare what it is and we will just put v out that would be where cat 2 i'm sure that full name won't be more than 50 and this begin and the end should be defined and we need to return this right so first we need to put the into here into class to the v out 
and this v out can be used as you know with the function or it can be used as http.prn which prints the html even that works the oracle recommends to use the yeah apex json so this apex json is uh, dot write this has a lot of signatures so it dynamically overloaded function this is so bas basically it accepts a lot of things here even the Verka 2 globe and a lot of signatures are there you can see in the documentation so we'll just uh, print that with the apex json dot write and that would be printed into our thing so we we'll just put v underscore out and yeah so this will be printed and so we have declared that so this would be fine i guess so we have some errors here so okay i should give apex underscore json not i just use like a javascript thing okay so now the validation is success and we are ready with the server logic so only we need to add a client side thing that will request this process and also the response thing we should handle so that things we we'll have to add it in the dynamic action we'll define that and so those things we'll see in the next lecture